Hey, it's Tanya and I'm here with the weekly sketch challenge and the sketch is by Yana McCarthy and this time I have been asked to do a traveller's notebook spread. So I am translating the sketch into my spread in my homemade TN. So yes, I took some shimmer spray that came in the colour ad on this month. I'm using the August 2017 Hip Kit Club kits and having a wonderful time with them. There's lots of Maggie Holmes carousel and... I am going to use a bit of that in here actually and this is a small photograph of my youngest it was her 18th birthday I've scrapped lots of these if you follow me at all you will have seen that I have scrapped over and over again this birthday and I just like the idea of putting it in here as well I had the photograph lying on my desk and I thought yep 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 I'm going to use it and so I'm using some of the 3x4 cards because those always work very very well in a traveller's notebook they're just they're just a handy dandy size and yes if I thought ahead a little bit I wouldn't have had to battle as much as I do now because I'm going to do a tip in I love doing tip ins they're so much fun and if you don't know what a tip in is it's basically where you take something and you washi tape it or you somehow stick it to your page and then you can flip it up as you will see what I'm doing there there so I've got my washing tape behind that frame because I didn't want all of it to show because it doesn't quite the color scheme wasn't quite going with what I had in mind but I wanted a pop of color so that's why I did that and then I just put some washi tape on the back of the little tippin to make it more secure and what I have taken from the sketches the triangles and a bit of the mixed media and there you see that's the nice thing about these tippins you then use up two three by four cards <laughs> and they're just so interactive they're just a hell of a lot of fun so yeah now I'm sticking down the triangles and I briefly contemplate those kites but then I don't then I thought why not I love unicorns it's a birthday picture I can put anything I like on it and unicorns are one of the things I like so that's why I put the very pretty unicorn down there and I'm going to get something else on here which I was quite chuffed about too and yes fussy cutting out a little heart from washi tape is a bit OTT but uh, and especially as you'll see later I cover it up anyway <laughs> but they do very nicely actually because the and most of the washi is, is see-through so you just only really see the heart and yes now it's just a case of putting little things down and, and yeah I'm thinking okay I'm going to make my title of this little spread go lovely happy magical day but that doesn't quite work out either because as you will see now oh and I do apologize the coloring of this video is slightly off every now and then it goes a really pinky hue <laughs> not quite sure why probably tying in with the theme actually so yeah now I've got these labels that we got in one of the kits and I'm ready to go and I'm going to spell out magical and I get to magic and then I realize oh no oh no I've run out of A's yep so couldn't even do magic day let alone magical day and then I think, what am I going to do? But then, ah, to the rescue, Maggie Holmes stickers. Oh, so happy. <laughs> so I cut out the day. Because I really, I don't know why, and you'll see a little bit later, I try and get those banner type elements on my page, and I just can't do it. There's something about the shape of those banners which just doesn't work with my brain. And the, uh, nope, nope, just can't put them on a page. It's the weirdest thing. Yep. But what can we do? Our brain works in mysterious ways. So there we go. I've got the label and I stuck a few of the pink labels behind it to tie in with the, the colour theme that I've got going on here. And now it's just putting various little things around the page. And oh yes, now I'm thinking, okay, I like that tab. So I'm going to stick that on. But now I need to cover it up because I've got this white on the back. And I think a bit more and I'm looking and you can't see me looking. Because, um, you know, my stuff's off off camera and there it is I got the swan on too I'm so chuffed with myself <laughs> oh it's the small victories in life and that's what I like about actually Traveller's Notebook Spreads is and I've said it before see there's the banner I can't do it they give me the freedom to use up elements that I might not necessarily have been able to get onto a page I don't know it's just there's this that um, heavy disconnect I have with using very themed products on a layout that just goes away when I come and do traveler's notebook pages ah, I can do anything and I'm going to get this one and that says hello something 
I got, sorry I can't see it because it's shiny but yeah I get some of those Maggie Holmes phrases on there as well and then the bit that I really enjoy of this is coming up soon sorry if I sound distracted it's because my daughter's come home I have told the other one I'm recording so hopefully she won't burst in we've only got a few more minutes anyway so yes coming up to the bit that I really well almost <laughs> still putting these little phrases on here we go here we go is it yep I've got that swan announcing <laughs> and almost like um, I'm using the hearts like music notes so yeah I figured this one was uh, the thought bubble and it's playing music because it's a happy birthday spread there you see I cover up that heart I so digi oh, diligently cut out from the washi tape but yeah the colour ties in better rather than that really in your face kind of ready colour I had going on there and I'm getting a few more little stickers on these are the Maggie Holmes carousel puffy stickers they are gorgeous I must say and there we go we're done okay hope you enjoyed it hope you'll check out the Facebook forum and play along with us bye bye